Welcome to the First Steps with Auric Development Studio video. In this video, I will guide you through the initial steps how to use the ADS. First, we will need to start the ADS. I will show you how to import the Blinky LED into the ADS. There are many other examples available, so please feel free to browse through them after this video. In the next step, we need to compile our project. After the compilation, we will start the debugger and download the generated L file. Finally, we, we will be able to run our first project. The ADS exo file can be found under the C hard drive Infineon Auric Studio 1.5.0 if you haven't changed the location of the installation. So let's start the ADS together. In this case I will leave the default workspace and launch the Aurix Studio. And here we go. Alright, the first step we need to do is to import our Blinky LED example. Let's go to File and Import. Here we go to the Infineon folder and Aurix Development Studio Projects and click Next. As you can see, there's a huge amount of different examples already available, not only for the Aurix TC2X devices, but also for the Aurix TC3X devices. So, let's make our life a little bit easier and search for the LED project. And here we go. I can see the blinky LED. So now we have to find our right board. In this case, it is a TC375, the light kit. So we check the box and say finish. All right. Now the project is imported in our Rx Development Studio and as you can see it is already also set as an active. So if you have several projects please always make sure that the project you would like to compile are set as an active project which can be done here. Set active project. Okay never mind. So we have of course only one project which is active and now let's start the compiler, which is just here. In the console here you will see the progress of the compiler. Okay, to keep the video short, I cut down the uh, compiler time. <clears throat> As you can see, it took me around uh, three minutes uh, for the compi compilation here. Alright, so now we have our project compiled, so this means our ELF file, which we uh, need to download to our board, is available, and for that now we have to go and start the debugger. Let's go to debug configurations, to the tasking debugger, double click on it, and let's ch pick the generic Infineon Aurix board and let's start debug. With this it will change the window to the debug window.
It is asking if you want if I want to change the perspective. Now I said yes, but if you don't want to see it again, just say remember my decision and let's say switch here. All right, so this is the starting windows of the debugger, which we will explain in a later video. But for right now, I just would like to show you how to start the blinking LED program. And with that, you should see actually the LED one on your board start blinking. For that, we go to the resume button here and say go. At least my interface is blinking and just to show you where you have to look let's go briefly to the presentation slide set so if this is your board you should see that LED 1 is now started to blink all right this uh, concludes the video first steps with the RX development studio thank you for watching